What is up guys? Welcome back to another freaking video. I'm back from holiday, feeling good. I did have some like kind of bad news to start the vlog with, but then that bad news has been reversed. By the way, Matt's here. Hi Matt. Hey guys. So we arrived back from holiday. It was freaking sick. Uh, and unfortunately my bag got, I thought like stolen or taken or something, my laptop bag from the airport. Um, I put it on top of a bin. I forgot about it. It got taken. Uh, but then just now, as I was about to start this vlog, uh, a friend of mine, Jackson, reached out and said, Hey, uh, my friend Stad has your bag, which is freaking crazy. And just to put it into context, that bag has everything that is like very important to my life because it's got my laptop, my external hard drive with all my information on it, my wallet, earbuds, you know, just all that stuff. And um, to get it back is it's very, very cool. So shout out to the Good Samaritans of the world. And uh, if you ever find anything, see anything sitting around that's not yours you know don't take it for yourself because uh, that's someone else's stuff so you know just uh, get it back to them and good things will come your way that's just how the world works anyway sick so i have my stuff back and i can actually edit the vlog that you're currently watching tonight <laughs> so i'm pumped but uh today is an exciting day yes it is a very exciting day actually even before we get into why is this exciting we hit 20k subscribers that is freaking amazing we're actually the channel is freaking doing very very well right now the most amount of views i've ever had um happening on the channel right now the subscribers are smashing it so um welcome to all the new subscribers if you aren't subscribed hit that freaking button right now because uh it just adds up to a very good time and uh yeah channel's growing thank you guys so much i have some announcements uh coming very soon for the 20k including the open house at the factory that i've been meaning to have for a long time and it just feels fitting to have it now we have a date so i'm gonna uh announce that probably in the next video um but if you're in melbourne it's gonna be in june kind of mid-june so sit you know watch out for that date uh get your cars clean it's gonna be we've got a big area that we can have a car meet and stuff in and it's just gonna be a good time so uh watch out for that and also maybe i'll do a skip for you guys for the 20k subscribers um but yeah thank you guys very much for the support but today because of the 20k as well we're heading to pick up a certain car i don't know if i've shown what it is in the thumbnail would i do that probably no don't do it maybe just color it out so they can't see it okay sweet but i this is a car that i've been looking for for a while um i had one when i first moved here to australia so if you follow me on instagram and you scroll back through you'll be able to see pictures of this certain car um it was awesome and i've wanted one ever since uh now that we have the kind of factory and the skills to build cars better than what i had back then um but uh yes i was searching around for a while and they've gotten very expensive it is a jdm car um and they're, they're very expensive and to the point where i was like maybe i wouldn't be able to afford one to do a build on the channel but then i realized or i remember that my friend jordan had one sitting in a field at his farm and so i reached out to him and it turns out that he wanted to get rid of it he needs to get rid of it because his parents uh want him want it gone so we worked out a price that was very 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 awesome uh and we are on our way now to pick it up the car trailer is on the back of the car i've got matt here to help me uh you know moral support more than anything but this car in true youtube fashion is uh a complete and utter nugget i think <laughs> um but it's also got a lot of potential which is what we love on this channel don't we so uh it's filthy it's sitting in a field um and of course i started to get parts for it even before we have the car so in the back right here there's a box uh thanks to max speeding rods i've sent out uh coilovers for the car of course i have wheels already for it because at the factory we have tsg wheels so i've got some 15s so this car's going to get um a very cool makeover i think jordan uh, who we're picking the car up from uh, was up till 5 a.m. partying so it's going to be you know an interesting time seeing how he is at, uh, seeing what condition he's in it's probably as about as nugget as the the, uh, the car that we're picking up but uh, yeah let's go see what this car is like uh, I'm so excited you we are genuinely in the middle of butt fuck nowhere <laughs> it is <laughs> but you know when you come and pick up a freaking car from somewhere like this it's going to be good Actually, Jordan's got heaps of cars. I'm gonna have to yes. suss them out. I see, see R32, R34. I think there's a couple R32s. He's doing well. He's even got his own lake over here. There is a lake. Yeah. This I'm is just, a car. This is. Is he the Tommy F year of Australia? Look at all the 32s. <gasps> Look at him. Hi, sir. Hello, my oh, you look a little bit tired. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Big night. Hey, was it a big night? Two big nights. <laughs> I know. Small bender. I, was, I watched your stories and I was like, am I going to be picking up the Civic tomorrow? Boy, I bet one minute ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh.
Okie dokie, we are all loaded up on the way back to the shop. Civic's on the trailer, I don't know if you can see it back there. Unfortunately, we couldn't film at Jordan's. I really wanted to film, but it was so windy. It was crazy, so we just loaded the car up. And so, uh, it was freaking nuts. So uh, when we get back to the factory, we're gonna look over the car, but EG Civic. That's mad. I'm so pumped. So I'll give you guys a little bit of a rundown why the EG Civic. So when I first moved to Australia, I actually built an EG Civic as my daily driver. Here it is on the screen right now. Um, it was slammed on 15s. It was turbo, D15. Uh, it just had a fuel regulator in it, pushing the fuel through with a Walbro 255, no tune. Drove that thing around for ages. It went it was actually really awesome. Went very well. Never really got it properly tuned because back then I didn't really have the means to. Now obviously we're in a different situation. So we don't really know what our plans are for the we're Civic. Clean it. Oh it's, yes, today we'll clean it, yes. It's yeah. it's crazy. Okay, so it's been sitting in that farm. It has a family of huntsman spiders in it. So if you're not from Australia and you're watching, huntsmans are very big. And apparently there is one spider in it that's like the size of my hand, which would be interesting. We'll see if we can find it. There's also a mouse living in the bonnet. That's what Matt spotted before. Um, saw his little head poke out. So we're gonna have to suss that out. The car's absolutely filthy, but it's a beautiful base for us to start with. It's really nice and kind of like it's straight right which is what we want uh, underneath looks really clean it just needs a massive massive cleanup so that's definitely what we're going to do today and it doesn't run at the moment apparently there's some type of fuel issue so what we'll do is obviously try and get it running today which would be one of our main aims in terms of the build we don't actually know what we want to achieve with the car i was kind of going to leave it up to you guys so currently it's a d15 carbureted so i mean what i was thinking was perhaps doing an EFI conversion on the D15, turbo in the D15 motor, getting it all tuned up, and then maybe doing a challenge, a, a kind of race um, down the drag strip, drag strip with the Fivo versus the Civic, which would be really something really fun, something cool that we could do, because they're kind of similar motors, both single cam. Um, Hondas love boost, apparently, they love to rev as well, so that's something cool that we could do, or we could do an NA swap. I know a lot of people do like K swaps and stuff, but I just feel like it's overdone, you reckon? Maybe, and... It'll be mad though. It would be cool. I mean, a high-strung case swap would be cool. Um, and I don't know, I feel like there's just a lot more interest in, including for myself, in bolting a turbo up to an old Mankey motor, like the one that we have in it at the moment. So, I mean, we could pull the motor out, we could put some rods and pistons and stuff in it and put 30 PSI through it. So, but really I want to leave it up to you guys. So make sure you comment below. Um, let, let us know what we should do with the motor in, in, in this car and kind of where we should go with it. But one thing we are doing is we will do wheels and coilovers and obviously clean up the car and make it look super nice because we're all about that, that music. So, but yeah, right now we're going to head back to the shop. So yeah, stay tuned. Let's go. And through the magic of YouTube, we're now back at the factory and look at this thing. All right, so we can finally go through this thing. So, obviously, as you guys know, this is an EG Civic. I don't even know what year it is. What is it? Does it say? 94. How do you know that? Right there. Ah, yeah. Tenth month, 94. This is a 1994 EG Civic. It is completely stock, apart from one mod. I'll show you guys. It is freaking hilarious. Ready? Of course, this is the mod. Boom! It's got a cannon muffler on it which is so funny we don't know what it sounds like at the moment because the car currently apparently doesn't run so i've got a uh, battery on charge so that we can kind of see what the deal is with with how it runs but this is a d15 motor it's got the carbies on it so that's only the only real let down of this car is the carburetors ideally obviously we'd have the fuel injected motor um, but that's not really too much of an issue because i think what we'll do is do the efi conversion on it where you grab the um the manifold injectors and everything uh loom ecu off a wrecked car and we'll chuck it on this and that should pretty much sort us out in terms of fuel injection but we'll get it running as it is of course but overall the car is fairly straight so front bump is good guard's good it's a slight dent right here and the door down the bottom and that's pretty much it in terms of dents across the car but overall the rest of the car she's nice and straight so this thing has been sitting in a field for like many many years jordan intended he loves his deals he intended to buy it and do stuff with it and then you saw how many other cars he has and just nothing really ever happened with it so it just kind of sat there for a long period of time we have a bunch of huntsman spiders like they were all through the sills here but they've kind of moved i think they're underneath um so this car is going to need like an insanely big bug bomb 
this door card's toast, so we have to find another door card. So this is like the pop pack car. It's got all the windy windows, no like, electrics really anywhere, which I guess the good thing about that is that you can't have any electrics fail. So as you can see, it's absolutely filthy on the inside. Down here is probably the worst of it. We've got mold in the carpet and all that stuff. Just, the thing is just freaking filthy, to be honest. The seat needs replaced, but I think we'll probably end up installing better seats in the car anyway. But um, yeah, for the most part, everything's there. Back seat's up at the moment, whole lot of crunk under it. Let's have a look. I'm scared to go near anything in case one of the Huntsman's come out. Oh, there is a bullet. That is such a farm thing to have in the car. I don't even want to know what's going on in this car previously, but uh, yeah, for the most part, I think we should be able to get the interior clean-ish. I don't know if you guys can see right there, but there's a big dead spider, so that's, that's fun. Um, so, <laughs> we're gonna bug bong the hell out of this car. And then suss it out the back. These are, EGs are so funny. They got the back window that goes up, and then they got a tailgate that goes down. How cool is that? In behind here somewhere, I know for a fact there's a huntsman that's like, yeah, it's freaking huge. It's the mother of all the, the spiders that are currently in the car. Oh, another dead spider. Every, everything you'd expect to see in a cheap EG Civic, pretty much. So all in all, what we have is the perfect base for a YouTube build. So first things first, obviously we have to clean the absolute heck out of this thing. So we're going to degrease the engine bay, it's going to be really satisfying. Water blast it, we'll vacuum the inside. I'll see if I've got my steam cleaner here, I can't remember whether it's here or not, might be at home. Uh, but I'll bring that at some point, we'll clean the carpets. And we're just going to get this thing pretty much as clean as possible and start it. Yeah, we'll try Maybe. and start it today. So you said that there's a problem with the fuel and it's like leaking. There's like a leaking fuel hose. Underneath. So we might end up having to get under the car, which is going to be really fun. Vacuum. Yeah, so we just got to kind of figure that out. But first things first, we need to put a battery in it that has some charge so we can turn the kind of power on and see where that's at. But We'll degrease the engine bay now, because that's gonna, something that we need to do just for my own personal satisfaction. And then we'll just kind of get jobs done as we see fit. Also, the car needs a name, so let me know what you think we should call this car. Time to clean this car. Let's go. Look at this. This spider here just went matte in a big way. That's huge. Ah, they get so angry as well. Oh, that's crazy. Oh. 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 Number two. Holy! Oh, that's big. Apparently, that's still not the biggest one that is in the car, so. Here we have the Huntsman. This is a vicious spider that will attack without warning. <laughs> I let it get away when I was filming it, now I'm real scared. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to get rid of that somehow. I'll keep doing Don't brush him my way. Yeah, brush him your way, son. He's alright. Off you go. Alrighty, so. We now have somewhat of a clean car. Excuse the wind noise out here, it's really annoying. This thing already looks a million times better. We, we definitely missed the grass underneath here, so we'll have to get that. Uh, but it's looking cleaner. Now I put a battery in it that actually works, so I want to see what happens when we kind of turn the key. I'm so scared to sit in this car with the spiders, man. Everything looks like a spider in here. All right, let's turn the key and see if we get any kind of lights. We do. Something's buzzing. Yeah, that battery's stuffed. All right, we've got a new battery in. Well, not new, but the E36 battery, so. All right, come on, buddy. Give us some love. Oh, 
Oh, it says it's dead empty now. So the car looks like it's completely empty of fuel. So we're gonna pour some fuel in the carburetor. That's one good thing about it being carbureted. Is he's just gonna put some fuel in the carburetor. Was that enough? Yeah, should be fine. All right, I'm Sorted gonna turn. Up. Oh, it smells like fuel. Let's give it another go. And the ribs are going up. That's mint. How good is that? Yeah, it does run nice. That's because it's Honda, like straight away it just runs fine. Sounds like a bag of dicks with that muffler on the back. Let's go get some fuel in the tank. All right. Let's take the Fevo and get some fuel. Bebo. Haven't driven this thing in ages. Runs like a freaking dream. Could have siphoned fuel out of this. Could have siphoned fuel out of this, but we're not gonna. It's right. Not yet. Got a little warm up. Happy to be driving the Fevo again. I love the Fevo. This thing is so good. Yeah, I feel like it still needs a smaller turbo on this thing, like the Pulsar turbo. Not smaller, maybe just a ball bearing turbo, just to bring it on a little bit earlier. So we may, yeah, I've been talking about it, but we may. Oh, someone's coming straight for us. Clutch slip. <laughs> that clutch slip is so hectic. Loves it. I love it how like we have this and then we're like, still needs to do so much to this and then we're like let's go buy another car you can never that. you can never have too many cars apparently not especially when you got a freaking youtube channel to deal with but uh we get uh, fuel has been obtained thank you Fibo. Ooh, she's thirsty let's go come on buddy and then we're gonna leak it all out of the fuel leak wherever it is <laughs> well there's all the fuel that we just poured in pouring out of it so there is a leak somewhere of some sort <laughs> and it's pretty drastic um it seems maybe to me it seems like the tank would be have to be cracked or something for that to happen but uh yeah not good all right so we'll set up kind of a, a jiggy fuel system so to speak but then there's someone turned up and um i want you guys to meet him even though you know exactly who he is going on yeah rex h here finally yeah, rex nice, h nice shop tour here thank That's you awesome, man. this is the first time we're actually we've ever met look at the beautiful sunset behind yeah. you as well this is a nice lighting is lighting bro up. you look good yeah, son thing, um so, <laughs> so first time we've ever met i've been like a strong 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 advocator of australian youtubers collaborating and look it's finally happening we're not collaborating i mean he's here we're yeah. going to do something oh, cool in the future come around here but you've started drifting in the um, au Yes, and Mike said that he's going to teach me how to drift a little bit better because this man's a pro. Oh, I he probably would... won't say, but this guy's a pro. 100%. I feel, I feel like definitely not. But we're going to give him the keys to the E36 one day because I want to see. Okay, I've tried to get other people to drive it, and literally no one's driven it. I want to see how some, that feels in someone else's hands. Dude, that's a lot of trust. I don't sure. Care. I just don't care. Yeah. Like it's all good. I mean, so he drifts the A Falcon, and then he's building. I'm the building the e Falcon, Barra swap with a big turbo and then got the chaser which I just put the gearbox on. I saw that. Yeah. RIP. Yeah, big rip. Two okay. six fives will do it. I said grip. Yeah. Two six fives? I know, I cooked it hard. But That's... they're really like 195s with the camera on it, so Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, because okay, fun story actually. We're running two six fives on this for the first time ever mm. and a comp coming up and I feel like it's just all a bad idea. Um, so much stress on the drivetrain, as he just told us with his gearbox. Uh, you're nuts for drifting that car, by the way. Oh, yeah, yes, I am. It's only a skip pan, though. Rich it's guy. A skip pan. No, I'm not rich guy at all. Just I said, a, it, I said it to Matt earlier. I was like, you crazy <laughs> for drifting that car. That's what I thought the AU, though. You know? True, yep. Yeah. The I do what you're doing. I'm, can, borrowing the, wall in. I'm borrowing the AU, by the you way. Can borrow the AU. I want to see what they drift, drift like. Well. So we'll do a car swap. But um, we're going to go drifting together soon. We've got a couple other ideas for content, but if you guys want to suggest anything below, feel free. Maybe even something with the Civic and the Fibo um, once we get it all built up. But uh, it is a freaking pleasure having you at the shop. Dude, thanks, man. It's uh, sick. And, yeah, it's just so cool. It's Finally. Place to be. It's not bad. So we've invited him down wherever he needs to to use the shop as well. So you'll probably be seeing a bit more of him. What do you think of the Civic, by the way? Dude, oh, it's a, it's a hundred pound <laughs> It's so crap. I know. Carby. Yep. Lots of, lots of huntsmen. Oh. 
Yeah, 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 it's kind of gross. Dude, did you show the one right there? <laughs> yeah, on the dash. Literally... I'm leaving it there as like a relic. Dude, nah, don't. Please get rid of that. <laughs> okay, the only reason we haven't cleaned the interior is literally because of the spiders. So, oh. yeah, we cleaned the outside. And you guys probably noticed we didn't clean the inside. We're going to bug bomb it first, and they'll come another day and clean it because it's just absolutely disgusting. Um, but yeah, we've got our jerry can here, pump bottle. And it's, this is a mechanical fuel pump here, right? So when the engine spins, it spins this with the camshaft and it pulls the fuel up and then pushes it into the carby. Um, it's, it's really fancy. So what we're gonna do now is see if, um, do you wanna start it, man? Yeah. We're gonna start it and see if it runs. Oh, this is more fuel. It's got a hole in the loop. Can you flood a carby? Oh, you put it in the carb. Ah, you can definitely flood a carby. Oh my God. Yeah, so you just wow. pump it in there. <laughs> <laughs> We're all learning carby technology together. This is old school stuff, this is. Hell yeah. Yeah, it's mad. Can you hear this thing spin over? Yeah, I hope that it runs. I mean, it ran earlier when we put uh, fuel we'll into the, the car. Okay. I just want to see if it sucks it up. Yeah. Is it sucking it up? We have a Honda that runs. And that might be the return one. I don't know, I just pulled one off. But I just I just pulled the bigger one off. It's definitely gone down. Yeah! Alright, suss out the cannon. Give it a rip. How good? Oh my god. It's funny, like, completely stock car. Cannon. Bro, what the hell? It's pointing down. I know. Yo yo. That's actually sick. Okay, so so we just need to we just need to. I love that. We just need to fix the fuel, and then we're gonna be good to go. Well, there you have it. The Civic is alive and well, and very spider infested. And yeah, I'm not really <laughs> super stoked on it. It was to be a honest. success. Yeah, it was a success. It worked. We got it dirt cheap. I haven't told you guys how much. I don't know. Shall I tell them how much? We'll see. Right. We'll let them stew on it. And let... I'll do a full build. It was very cheap. It was under one thousand five hundred dollars. So that's all you need to know, which is pretty freaking good. Because good luck finding an EG Civic for that price. Uh, yeah, there's our Civic. It runs. It drives, uh, which is fantastic. So it's a that's an awesome base for us to start with. Pretty much, um, a huge amount of work probably really needs to be done to it. Uh, most of it is removing spiders. But uh, yeah, it just needs a full service and all that stuff. We got to drop the tank um, and. Potentially put a new fuel tank in it, but we won't know until we put it up on the hoist um, But I'm just very excited about this build actually I can't wait to make this car everything that we want it to be uh, If there's anyone out there who's selling EG Civic parts feel free to reach out to me DM me on Instagram at it's Mike Lake huge thanks to Rex for coming in and visiting us uh, Awesome, dude. I've been waiting so long to meet that guy very cool Make sure you hit up his YouTube channel if you haven't already, but you probably have because he has way more subscribers than me So uh, but check him out if you haven't already anyway <laughs> Let me know what you guys think of the Civic. Let me know what you think we should do with the motor on the Civic. Matt's dying of COVID, which is a good time. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you in the next one. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and all that jazz. What do we say when we, when we leave? Peace. <laughs> Peace. Bye.